This morning, the crisis at the border unrelenting, with thousands arriving daily from California to Arizona and Texas. On Tuesday, this field in Eagle Pass packed with thousands of migrants waiting to be processed. Men, women and children overwhelming border officials. On Monday, Customs and Border Protection seen a new record number of daily crossings, apprehending over 12,000 migrants at the southern border, with more than 26,000 already in custody, pushing processing centers to their limit. In Arizona, the overwhelmed port of entry in Lukeville still closed, while in Texas, international rail operations halted in El Paso and Eagle Pass, leaving shipments ranging from consumer goods to food and beverages stuck at the border. But the problem is far more than just numbers. It's also a national security crisis. This week, Texas Governor Greg Abbott signing a controversial new law allowing state and local authorities to arrest undocumented immigrants and even deport them. So we anticipate uh, with SB4 uh, that cracks down on illegal entry, that that should reduce the number of people coming across the border. Almost immediately, the city of El Paso and the ACLU taking legal action, calling it unconstitutional. It's going to open the door to racial profiling. The White House also opposed. The law is incredibly extreme and it does not make it does not make communities in Texas safer. It just does not. With thousands more arriving every day, it's a crisis with no end in sight. And as the search continues, a U.S. appeals court has now temporarily blocked the Biden administration from destroying that razor wire fence that has been placed all across the border that, of course, has been so controversial. Savannah. All right. Guad, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.